do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like how do you like set goals for yourself? How do you like set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of yourself. I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, I'm imagining that I'm imagining that I'm imagining that if I'm imagining that if you're listening, if you're listening to, to this, this, you're studying English and one of your goals is you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent is to get fluent. So, you know a little something about setting goals. So, you know a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and to manage track and the manage goals that I've set goals. for myself. To track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot. Actually, this might sound a little a little silly, but I work a lot. I study a lot. I study a lot. And I don't actually take too much time for myself to And I don't actually take too much time for myself to just just kick back and <coughs> relax. <clears throat> for myself to just kick back and relax. I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And I don't actually take too much time for myself to I don't actually take too much time I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. I don't actually take too much time for myself ju- to just kick back and relax. I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. I don't actually take too much time. <coughs> I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so and because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year Over the last year or so Over the last year or so Over the last year or so Is reading books in English Is reading books in English And because of this, I realized that one of the things Because of this, I realized that one of the things, things that I've been, that I've been ignoring, ignoring over the last over the year last, or so is re- over the last year or so is reading books in English. Reading books in English. Because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. One of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of So I set the goal for myself of of reading, reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. Reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this.
and I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is is that is that I like seeing I like seeing the number grow every day after. I like seeing the number grow every day after, after I accomplish my accomplish 15 minute my, reading goal. I accomplished my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh. So I can see on my phone, oh. Andrew, you have Andrew, a 10 day reading streak. You have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a, a row, row. For example. For example. I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. I find this. I find this. I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button. Clicking that button. Clicking that button. Seeing the number grow. Seeing the number grow. Has helped me stay focused on this goal. Has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. I keep track of my Korean study goals way. this way. And I think it can be really useful for other and I think it can be really useful for useful for be really useful for other things. Useful for other things. things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, but that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do exercise like exercise everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals everybody's got their everybody's got their own way of staying everybody's got their own way of staying focused everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals and achieving their goals this just happens to be one of the ways that i track my goals this just happened to me. This just happens to be one of the ways. This is. This just happens to be. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals. And hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. And hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? Set goals for yourself set goals for yourself i'm imagining that if you're listening to this you're stuck i'm imagining that if you're i'm imagining that if you're listening to this you're being english and one of your goals is to get fluent you're in you're studying english and one of your goals is to get fluent one of your goals is to get fluent so you know a little something about setting goals so you know a little something about setting goals recently i've started using an app on my phone recently i've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that to track and the to track and manage the goals that i've set for, I've myself. Set for myself actually this might sound a little silly Actually, this might sound a little silly. This might sound a little silly. But 
but I work a lot, I, work a lot, I, study, I a study a lot, lot and I don't and actually, I don't take, actually too take too much time, too much time for myself to just kick to back, just back and, and relax. relax. And because, and of, because this, of this, I realized, I realized that, that one of the things, of the things that, I've that I've been ignoring, ignoring over the last, over the last year or so years is also. reading books in... Because of this, I realized that one of the things that I... One of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so. 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 Is, is reading books, is it reading in, books English? in English? So I so set the I goal, set the goal for, myself for myself of reading, reading for 15 for to 20 minutes. It, reading for 15 to 20 minutes. Reading for, reading 15, for 15 to 20 15 minutes to, in English. 15 to 20 minutes. Reading for 15 to 20 minutes. Reading for, for 15, 15 to 20, 20 minutes in Reading for 15 to 20 minutes in, in English, English every day. Every day. And, and I use an app, use on, an my app on my phone to track, to track this. Now, one of the, now, most, one of the most motivating, motivating things, things about using, using the, app the app is that, is that I, like I like seeing the number the grow, number every, grow day every day after I accomplish my 15-minute reading goal. So I can see, so I can on, my see phone, on my phone, oh, oh Andrew, you, you have a 10-day reading streak. Reading streak. You've accomplished You've, your goal for 10 days in a row. You've accomplished your goal for ten days in a row. For example. For example. I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button. Clicking that button. The number grow, seeing the number grow has helped me stay has focused, on, stay focused on, this on this goal. I also use this, I also app, use this for app for studying Korean. Korean. I keep track, I keep track of, of my Korean study goal. I keep track of my Korean study goals. This way. This way. And I think it and can, I be, think really can be really for useful other for other things that, that are sometimes, are sometimes hard, hard to stay motivated to do, like, like exercise. exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. Everybody's got their own way of studying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goal. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals. Well, and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. And hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. That's all for today. Talk to you. Talk to you next time. How do you like set how do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So you know a little them you know a little something about setting goals. Recently I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set, I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that the app is that I like Now, one of the most one of the most now one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplished my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my I can see on my phone, oh Andrew, you have a 10 day you have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row. For example, I find this I find this to be really motivating 
clicking that button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for I I think it can be really useful for other things that I other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I this just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like um, How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like I'm imagine How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you how like do you to like set, goals, to set for goals for yourself? I'm imagining I mean, that if I'm you're listening to this, you're, you're studying English. I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English, and one of, and your, one goals of your goals is to get, is fluent. To get fluent. So, so you, know you know a little, a little something, something about, about setting goals. goals. Recently, I started using, I've started an, app using an app on my phone, on my phone to, track to track and manage, and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this Actually, might sound, this a, little sound little silly, a little silly, but... but I work, I work a, lot, a lot, I study, I study a, lot, a lot, and I don't actually, I don't actually take too much time for myself to just... And I don't actually take too much time for myself. And I don't, I don't actually, actually take, take too, much too much time for myself, for myself to, just to just kick back and relax. And, relax. and because of this, because of I realized, this, I realized that, that one of the things, of the things that, I've been that I've been ignoring over the last, over the last year, year or so is reading is books, reading books in, English. in English. So, so I, set I set the goal, the goal for, myself for myself of reading, reading for 15, 15 to 20, 20 minutes in English every day. Every day. And, and I use an I app on my phone, phone to track to this. <coughs> now, one of, now the most one of the most motivating, motivating things, things about, about, using, about the app using the app is that, is that I like seeing, I like seeing the number, number grow every day, every day after, after I accomplish I my 15-minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, my 15-minute 15 15 reading, goal. reading goal. So I can so see, I can on, my see phone, on my phone, oh, oh Andrew, Andrew, you have a 10-day reading, day streak. reading streak. You've, You've accomplished, accomplished your goal for, your 10, goal for days 10 days in a row, in a row for, example. for example. I find this, I find to, be this really to be really motivating. Clicking that button, Clicking that button seeing, the number, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also, I use, also this use this app, app for studying Korean. 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 I keep track, I keep track of, my of my Korean study goals, study goals this way. And I and think it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes, sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's Everybody, got their own way of staying focused. And Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving, achieving their goals. Their goals. This, just happens this just happens to be one of the ways that, that I track my goals and hopefully, and hopefully become better at the things, at the things I want to become better, become better at. at. That's all for that's today. All, that's Talk all to for today. Time. Talk to you next time. How do you like how do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals one of your goals is to get fluent. And one of your goals is to get fluent. And one of your goals is to get fluent. So you know a little something about setting goals. So you know a little you know. something about setting goals. So you know a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started recently I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone, phone. to track and manage the goals manage. that I've set for myself. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little... Actually, this might sound a little silly. Actually, this might sound a little silly. Actually, this might sound a little silly. 
but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. But I work a lot, I, work a I lot, study, a, I study lot, a lot, and I don't I actually don't, take too much time. I don't actually take too much time for myself, for myself to, just, to kick just kick back and, and relax. relax. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. And because, and of, because this, of this, I realized, I realized that, that one of the one things, of the things that, that I've been ignoring over, over the last, last year or so is reading books in English. Is reading books in English over the last year or so? Over the last, last year, year or so, so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. So I set the goal for I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. I set the goal. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. So, so I, set I set the goal, goal for, for myself of reading, reading for 15, 15 to 20, 20 minutes in English, in English every day. In English and every day. So I set the goal for myself of reading. So I set, set the, the goal, goal for, for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in 15 to 20 minutes in English, English every, every day. day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. And I use an app on I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplished my 15 minutes reading goals. Now, one of the now, most, of the most motivating, motivating things, things about, about, using, about the using the app is that, is that I, like I like seeing the number grow every day after, after I accomplished my 15-minute so reading, so minute reading goal. So I can see, see on my phone, on my phone. Oh, Andrew, oh, Andrew, you, Andrew, you have a 10-day reading, day reading, streak. reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row. For example. For example. I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button, see seeing the number grow has helped has helped me stay focused on this goal. Clicking that button, Clicking seeing, that the button number grow, seeing the number has grow helped has helped me stay on focused on this goal. On this goal. I also, use, I also this use this app for studying, for studying Korean. Korean. I keep track, I keep of, track my of my Korean, study Korean goals studying this goals way. this way. And I and think it I can think, be really useful for other things. And I think it can be really useful for other things that, that are, are sometimes, sometimes hard, hard to stay, stay motivated, motivated to do, to do. Like, like exercise. Like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and, and achieving, achieving their goals. And achieving their goals. This just happens this to be just one of the ways that I track, one of the my, ways goals that I track my goals, hopefully and hopefully become, become better at the things at the I want to become I better, want to become better at. at. That's all for today. That's Talk all for to you today. Next time. Talk to you next time. How do you how do you like set goals for yourself? How do you like how do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals your How do you like to set goals for yourself? I imagine that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little you know a little uh, you know a little thing something. Get fluent. So, you know a little something about setting goals. You know a little something about setting goals. So, you know 
a little something about setting goals. So you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so, over the last year or so, is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplished my 15 minutes reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You've got, you've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row. For example, I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. Motivating. I find this. I find this to be really motivating. Motivating. I find this to. I find. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking the button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. Clicking that button, Clicking seeing the, the number button, grow the number has grow helped, me, has stay helped focused me stay focused on this, goal. on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I, I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are I, it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do like exercise everybody's got their own way of studying focused everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals everybody's got their own ways of staying focused and achieving their goals this just, this just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully and hopefully become hopefully hopefully and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. I'm better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. How do you like to how do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this I'm imagining that if you're listening to this you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, 
So, you know, a little thing about setting goals. So, you know, a little them. Get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I was started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set goals for myself of reading for 15 to 20 for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplish my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking the button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay, helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean studying. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of studying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. <coughs>
I find this to be really motivating. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking I the, find this really motivating. Clicking that button. That button. Seeing the number, the grow, number grow has helped me stay focused on. Has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I also use this app for studying Korean. Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals. This way. I keep track of my Korean study goals. Way. This way. And I think it can be really useful for other things. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are that are, are sometimes, sometimes hard to, hard stay, to stay motivated, stay motivated to, do, to do, like exercise. Like exercise. Yeah. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better. Hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. Want to become better at. How do you like to How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've becoming one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I imagine that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about some setting goals. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I was started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've become one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use, a, I use an app on my phone to track this. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I imagine that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, 
and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day. After I accomplish my 15, my 15 minute reading goal, I like seeing the number grow every day after I, I accomplish my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking the button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think that it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. How do you how do you like how do you like to set goals for yourself? How do you like to set goals for yourself? I imagine that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I was started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set goals, I set goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplish my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking the button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying, of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time.
How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're, st you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplish my 15-minute reading goal. So, I can see on my phone, Oh, Andrew, you have a 10-day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my... How do you like to set goals? How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set goals for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that How do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back 
and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using the app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplish my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are some, sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better hope, hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. How do you how do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and how do you like to set goals for yourself? I'm imagining that if you're listening to this, you're studying English and one of your goals is to get fluent. So, you know, a little something about setting goals. Recently, I've started using an app on my phone to track and manage the goals that I've set for myself. Actually, this might sound a little silly, but I work a lot, I study a lot, and I don't actually take too much time for myself to just kick back and relax. And because of this, I realized that one of the things that I've been ignoring over the last year or so is reading books in English. So I set the goal for myself of reading for 15 to 20 minutes in English every day. And I use an app on my phone to track this. Now, one of the most motivating things about using an app is that I like seeing the number grow every day after I accomplish my 15 minute reading goal. So I can see on my phone, oh, Andrew, you have a 10 day reading streak. You've accomplished your goal for 10 days in a row, for example. I find this to be really motivating. Clicking that button, seeing the number grow has helped me stay focused on this goal. I also use this app for app for studying Korean. I keep track of my Korean study goals this way. And I think it can be really useful for other things that are sometimes hard to stay motivated to do, like exercise. Everybody's got their own way of staying focused and achieving their goals. This just happens to be one of the ways that I track my goals and hopefully become better hopefully become better at the things I want to become better at. That's all for today. Talk to you next time. Mm-hmm.
full tray. How do you like to set goals for yourself? 